In this Photoshop Facebook page banner tutorial, you're going to learn how to design a pro looking banner like this one. Hey, it's Arit here from Esatino Media where we help you create profitable content. And today I'm gonna break down step by step how I designed this Facebook page banner, which also looks good on all devices and also helps you grow your email list in the process. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is create this canvas in Photoshop and also get a template like this one here so that we always know that we're designing for all devices. Okay, so step one, let's first create our canvas, go to file, new, and then where it says over here, the width should be 1200, the height should be 527, make sure the resolution's on 300, make sure it stays on RGB color and then hit create. So this is your canvas. And the next thing we need to do is bring in this overlay right here. The reason why this is helpful is because when you're designing this, you wanna make sure that everything that is critical is in the safe zone and doesn't get cut off when it's viewed on mobile or desktop. So let's go ahead and grab this overlay. I'm gonna head over to Google and then type in Facebook page banner template and the year 2022, go to images, and we're gonna pretty much download one of these. I'm just gonna go with this one over here because it's the same one that I had before. So you just need to click on it, right click, save image, and just save it anywhere. I usually save it to my downloads, and I'm gonna go back to Photoshop to our blank canvas, and to bring in that image, you need to go to file, place embedded, and then grab it, this is in my downloads. I'm double clicking on it. And we want to extend this image so that the corners are basically aligned with the corners of the canvas. That's what's going to make it accurate. So I'm just dragging the sides here to about there. You just need to make some micro adjustments and you can even use the keys on your keyboard to move it up and down in place. I think just a little bit right here and I'm going to hit check mark. So there we go. And then to make it transparent, you just need to play with the opacity over to the right hand side here. And so I'm just going to click and drag it, make it a little bit transparent. Basically, we just want to see this overlaying on top of this canvas. So now we're ready to design the actual banner. I'm just going to make this side by side so we can compare what we're designing here. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is lay down the background. So I used a gradient background here. We have a lot of purple in our branding, so go ahead and create a gradient with the main color of your brand. So I'll show you how to do that. You want to go down to the bottom here. It's kind of like a half black, half white circle and select gradient. What that's gonna do is gonna create a gradient layer. So when I click into here, this is where you can choose your colors. So I'm just gonna approximate and for time's sake, just choose two colors here that are kind of purple. I like to usually go with one really dark and one lighter color, so about there. And you can see here, this is transparent. So to make that opaque, just click on the top here and let's make that 100%. And you'll see here, it's already created this gradient and you can play around with the direction of the gradient, like so. So I'm just gonna leave that right there, hit okay. And the next thing we're gonna do is bring in a photo. So this could be a photo of you, it could be a royalty-free stock image that just basically aligns with your brand and communicates what it is that you do. I'm gonna bring in a photo of us, just like we have here. So I'm gonna to go to File, Place Embedded once again, find the location of where that photo is. And for me, that's right here. It's gonna bring in the image and you want to place it, I'm gonna zoom in here. You wanna place it off to the side. Remember, you always have this overlay. So make sure this overlay, Facebook cover photo template that we downloaded from Google is on the very top. And you can kind of see that Jewel's getting cut off here off to the side. So we want her to be more in the safe zone. So I'm gonna click on the image again, the layer, and I'll go to edit, 
free transform and just increase the size of that more so I can kind of move it over. Maybe something like that. All right, I think that's pretty good. When you're happy with that, hit check mark. I'm gonna take the overlay off and you can either leave it as is or you could do something like what I did here, which is kind of like a blend mode that makes it blend nicely with the background. So to do that, make sure you're selected on the image layer, go to where it says normal and you can kind of play around with these effects here. I think this one looks cool too, the hard light. Uh, the one that I used on the original banner is luminosity. So you can select whichever one you're happy with. And now all that's left is to bring in your logo and to also we're going to create this call to action of downloading a free guide or a lead magnet or whatever it is that you want people to do. So off to the side here, we're going to hit the rectangle. And by the way, if this looks different and you don't see your toolbar, you just need to go to window and tools to bring that back up. I know everybody's Photoshop looks different. So just keep that in mind. You might need to go to window and bring up a certain toolbar if you don't see it. So we're going to go to rectangle. I'm going to make the fill black and then click and drag something like this. And I'm going to select the move tool to move it into place. And if you want to adjust the size of this, I always like to use keyboard shortcuts. So you could go to edit and then transform and you can do it that way. Or on my keyboard, I usually hit control T and just makes, allows me to move a lot faster and resize it accordingly. Now I'm going to put the logo on top. So again, file, place embedded, find your logo. So there it is. I'm going to make it smaller, place it on top like so hit the check mark and again just use using the arrows on my keyboard to put it into place. If you have a tagline like we do, you can create that on a separate rectangle. So let's go ahead and do that. Hit the rectangle, choose whatever color you like. I'm going to try to choose something as close as possible to what we had there. All right. Select and drag like so. And I know right now it's covering my head but we're, we're gonna adjust make micro adjustments in terms of where things are placed at the very end right now we're just creating all of the elements that we need so it's a little bit off color but that's fine actually what i like to do to get the exact colors is to usually bring in a brand element that has all of the colors of our brand so right now we have this logo right i want to sample that reddish color that we have and to do that, I'm going to, again, select the color fill area up here and it's going to bring up the color picker and I can just capture the color like so. And you can even zoom in. I'm going to hit control plus on my keyboard to zoom in even more. And I think something like that is good. So I'm going to hit OK. It's going to change that color. And now what we're going to do is put the text on top. So. Let's go to our text layer right here. I'm going to first create it off to the side here. I'm going to click anywhere to create that text and oh, you can see it's like massive. So we just need to make this text a lot smaller up at the top. I'm just adjusting the size of the text. So from here, you can select the font that you usually like to work with. Ours is Palanquin. Palanquin. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let's go with a medium. So you can see here, it's pretty spaced out, right? Again, you'll need to play with the character spacing. So hit the character A button right here. And again, if you don't see that, remember what I said before, go to window and character to bring up that toolbox. It also comes up automatically like at the top. If you click on the T and then you click on into the word, you're able to make these adjustments from up here as well. So I'm going to highlight this and decrease. I'm just clicking and dragging back and forth. Okay. So I think that looks good. And we're going to say create profitable content. We do need to make this a lot smaller to fit on that box. So I'm going to play with the size right here. And now I'm going to move it into place like so. 
So using the same sort of techniques of the text and the rectangle tools, we're going to create this part here. This is your call to action. What do you want people to do? So we have a free YouTube guide. Maybe you have a free webinar or a free report or a free download. So you want to state that at the very top and then let people know where they can get it from. So this is our website here and that's where you can get our free YouTube guide. So again, rectangle. Let's do this a little faster. I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to make this white again, going up to the fill color, selecting white. And I want this, the text to be black. So again, I'm going to go to the T, hit anywhere. And the reason why I don't hit on top of the shape is because it just allows me to move the text around and control more where I want to place it when I create the text off of the shape. So that's why I do it that way. All right, so let's go free YouTube guide. We're going to make this black and click and drag. Oh, for some reason we have an underline on there. So just take that off. Okay. Now my move button again, move tool. Let's move that into place. This one, I want to bold more. So I'm going to select bold and a little bit more spacing, I think would be better between the letters. So again, just clicking and dragging this. You can also play with these numbers right here. And now we're going to put the link to where you get the guide on a separate highlighted rectangle. Again, using the colors of your brand, I'm going to click over here, fill the color area, the color palette. So I can select this one and hit OK. And I'll show you how to center everything nicely as well. There's a quick way to do that, but let's create the text. So at acetinomedia.com and I want to make this thin light. All right. And make it white. Hit OK. And again, let's move this into place. So I think I need to make it a tiny bit smaller. Maybe if you want to get really granular with this, you can just type in the size right there. All right. And then now I want to align all of these elements here. So go to layers and select all of these parts here while holding down control. So Esatino Media, that's that's part of that. I'm going to also select this rectangle. Again, I'm holding down control so that it also keeps the other one selected as well. And I want this one and also this one. I'm going to go to layer, align, horizontal centers, and it just automatically makes everything centered for you. And just, you can make micro adjustments too, like this Esatino Media, I'm going to move it slightly up with the keyboard. And I think that looks nice. All right. Last element here that we need to add, which is an image of our freebie. And then we can make all of these adjustments to make sure everything looks good and it's within the safe zone because you can see here that this is out of the safe zone so we'll make those adjustments after the way that i created the image for this is just basically exporting like this is a pdf guide and i exported each page to be an image file like a jpeg and then i just adjusted them on here so you can do that you can also just export the cover and just put an image there but you do want some sort of visual so let's go to file place embedded and I'm going to grab the cover for this guide right here and move that into place, adjust the sizing, hit the check mark. And usually with something tangible like this, I like to add a, a drop shadow. So I just double clicked on that layer and I'm going to select drop shadow here and you can see it kind of add a little bit of a shadow. I usually like to do it off to the side, like an angle, a little bit less distance and a little bit more of a blur like so hit. Okay. All right. So we have all of our elements here. And now the last step is to put this layer back on and make sure we have everything in the safe zone. So you can see here, my head is cut off. So we need to move that down. I'm going to select the image. And again, using the arrows on the keyboard, just move it down a little bit, something like that. We also want to get the high five in there. So I'm going to move that even more down. It's okay that a little bit of the black bar like that is cut off as long as the logo isn't. 
and this piece right here needs to move this way. So let's select all of those elements. It's the, the URL and the two rectangles and this text layer that says free YouTube guide. And again, with the arrows, I'm just moving it off to the side like so. And I also want to center this, the image of the guide. So I'm going to go here, click on that layer, move it into the center. And there you go. That looks good. So everything that we need to be in the middle looks good because typically that would norm, that would be cut off on mobile. So we can remove that layer now. And all that's left now is to export this. So go to file, save as copy and save on your computer. Give it a name, Facebook page banner. I'm going to save it to my desktop and make sure you save it as a I like to save it as a PNG just because it's more high resolution and then hit save. And there you go, guys. That is this file now. The file that you just saved is what you'll go and upload to your Facebook page. If you want me to design a Facebook page banner for you, I'd be happy to. My contact information is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.